This the Brasodi Brothers auction house? Seems it. Private Kleiner, you're on duty. Need I remind you? Fraternizing with civilians is not allowed. Purpose of your visit? Just curious. Redanian army regulars, right? Lance Corporal Vaclav reporting. And this bloke's my subordinate, Private Kleiner. Careful you don't piss yourself out of excitement. You say something, soldier. Not a thing. Shouldn't you be somewhere? There's a war on, you know. We was transferred here. All official. Written order 76 CWX. Mission, guard the auction house. Priority, high top, in fact. Well, Sodi fella knows his way about the court. Helps the high rankings sell their war booty. <laughs> Gets protection in return. Private Kleiner, that's confidential military information. Any of the owners home? Meaning the one and sole owner, the esteemed host Besodi? Aye, he is. Need to talk to him. Order 76 CWX is clear. Auctions only open to folk with invitations. Writ out in their names, plain and simple. Gonna let that hold you back? Come on. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Order 76 CWX also held that Lance Corporal Vatslav stick a broomstick up his ass. Kleiner, need I remind you of the penalty for insulting a superior? Who have we here? Geralt, the Witcher of Rivia. Vimy Vivaldi, the banker from... Actually, where are you from? Matters little, mate. Gold knows no boundaries. What's all the fash, Corporal Vatslav? You squabbling with my pal Geralt? Master Vivaldi, sir, your esteemed associate, he weren't invited to the auction, and I've... But I plough and have been, and he's coming with me. In you go, Geralt. But my orders... Fuck your orders. Need I take this up with the sergeant? Ha! I thought not. No, stand to attention and shut your giggy. Oh, the lads will be rolling back at the barracks. Sot it! Now march! Round you go! One, two, one, two! Appreciate the help. Just note, I've always had a mind to see into old pals and clients. Business with you's a pure pleasure, Vimy. The dear departed wifey claimed the same. Ah ha! Folk are assembling. Auction's about to start. Time we went upstairs. Actually, I'm really just here to talk to Horst Borsodi. Oh, might be more of a problem than you'd expect. Because? An awful hermit, that one. Not a wee bit like his da, my little keep his soul. But, Horst did like to show his heed during the auction. I'll introduce you then. Be mighty indebted to you. Think nothing of it. Only if I clicked on loans and promissory notes. <laughs> All right, up we go. Egg, white gold, and mother of pearl with topaz insects. Geralt, you thought of buying real estate. Could get you attractive terms on a mortgage. No such thing as attractive loan terms, Vimy. What about in Kaviri Max? Come on. You know damn well that makes mm. no sense. Auction won't start for a time yet, it seems. Vimy, this is a banquet. Aye? And? I detest banquets. Vacuous conversation, food portions fit for a mouse, drinks that taste like piss. Ah, it won't all be bad. Let me introduce you to some of my most interesting associates. Old hand there is Countess Mignol. Wager you'll have plenty to blather about with her. <laughs> Prick in the corners, Helbert. New coin, that one. Came into a right fortune playing quaint. Ah, there's Yaramir, art dealer. A purer snob I've never known. But he knows paintings like no other. So, ready to chat someone up? 
It's not fitting for us to stand here like knobs. <sighs> Greetings to the Honourable Countess. Madam, allow me to introduce my dear friend, Geralt of Rivia. Witcher of the School of the Wolf. Forgive me, but have we had the pleasure? No, but your guild is unmistakable. Your medallion. Take note, Geralt. Countess Mignol is an eminent collector of Vitaminaica. Vitamin... what now? All manner of objects related to the witcherly profession. Swords, gear, medallions. Mind if I ask how the Countess became interested in us humble monster slayers? I've some pleasant associations. Dating from my oh-so-distant youth. Didn't you say such things, Countess? You look right fetching to me. That's very kind, Master Vivaldi. But apart from my Vedomaniaca, I also own a number of mirrors. Your most prized piece, what would it be? An armor element, an antique. School of the Wolf, from 1234. Classic. Is it up for sale? I fear not. It's a memento, one of great sentimental value. But perhaps the Countess has got other Witcher curios she's willing to part with. Or acquire. Uh, perhaps she could trade. I'd charge 5%, a modest uh, uh, transaction fee. Vimy, never seen anyone so good at laying their mitts on coin that clinked within earshot. But what the hell? See if we can't make a deal. Does the Countess have her eye on anything particular today? No, but Horse Borsodi insisted he would put up something that would be of interest. Did he happen to say what it was? No. Oh, you know what he's like. A walking enigma. On another topic, Master Geralt, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help a lady in need. Depends on the nature of the need. Oh, it's quite the trifle. I stepped out onto the balcony a moment ago. I dropped an earring while there. I couldn't find it. It must have fallen through the floorboards. Perhaps you, with your cat eyes. Not a problem. I'll go right away. I shall be much obliged. See you in a minute, Vimy. I believe I'll build on that Gorbet landscape. A landscape? You detest them. Mm, some spilled wine. Nothing else. Hmm. There's no earring out here, is there? None. Maybe the Countess would care to explain what this is about, all jokes aside. Forgive me. I... God, this is so embarrassing. Do... Do you know Vesemir? He was a tin shorter than you, wore a mustache. Do I know him? Man taught me everything I know. What? How is he, if you don't mind my asking? <sighs> Afraid I have bad news. Oh? Please tell me. Did he at least die like a witcher? No. He died like a hero. <sighs> there is that. I thank you for tolerating a decrepit madwoman so elegantly. Please don't say that. I am old and I am wealthy. I may say what I please. And now, be so kind and leave me to my thoughts. Listen, 
Forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, there'll be an intermission. Horst Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to bid? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! Ah, knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumor has it the figure harbors a treasure inside. A rumor one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price, quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? 200 once, twice, thrice. Splendid Countess Mignol bids 250. Do I hear 300? My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? 300 thrice, and sold to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas by the young Novigrad artist Van Roe, Starry Night over the Pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Oh, we've a bidder, cat-eyed no less, at 20. Do I hear 30? Forgive me, Geralt, but business is business. 30 from Vimy Vivaldi. Do I see 40 anywhere? 30 going once, going twice. Aha! The white-haired gentleman bids 40. Who will bid more? 40 once, 40 twice. Vivaldi the bank is not about to give up easily. 50! Any advance on 50? 50 going once, going twice. Last chance, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we've a right bidding war here. 60, the excitement! An advance on 60? 60 going once, 60 going twice? Oh, all yours, Geralt. Sold! Van Roo's starry night over the Pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters, once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice, Incredible! With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, before some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who... Comes uninvited. Forgot my manners, forgive me. The teaching at Kaer Morin, well, etiquette wasn't high on the list. Scandalous. Hmm, that's plain to see. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? 
Right. Let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it. Whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen! No reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where? Doesn't matter. Willing to tell me what it is or not. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hemelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Let's end this. Ah! Ah! Law says if you see someone hurt, you should summon a medic. Law doesn't say how fast, though, so you can sit tight a while. Seems true what they say. Sword or no sword, a witcher brings gore. Not in the mood for your peasant wisdom. Who the hell are you? If all goes well, dare say I'm your partner. Don't need any partners. Oh, I don't know about that. No chance you'll lay your hands on Max Borsodi's house alone. Hmm. How do you know I was looking for the house? I was at the auction. Disguised, of course. That argument on the topic was hard to miss. Get to the point, if you can. To get this house, you need to get into the vault. And there's no way Horst will let you in there out of the kindness of his heart. A heist? Don't like that idea one bit. Got any others? Find the herbalist lives near Oxenford. Ask for some yarrow extract. You'll know why you've come. If this is a trap of some sort. Be seeing you. I hope. Rather efficient. That all you got to say? I saved your life. Pfft. We'd have disposed of that rabble easily. We? My, aren't we precise? You know what I mean. Now, are you here to trade or not, hmm? Wouldn't happen to have some yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. 
Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. I spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You want I can count on. Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our conscience. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage. Just for your help in a heist. We break in. Each take what we need. Then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow. You won't go anywhere. You know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in, or are you not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the ocean house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars. But not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but there's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar, crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila. Not all bad, except sounds like a lot of work for two. I'm fully aware of that. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker and a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I? Well, that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. Break-in artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite's Eveline Gallo. A circus artist known better as the Herbal. Just now performing with her troupe somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities. Rhythmic gymnastics. Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfway. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the elf man. Word has it he's holed up in Oxenfurt in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently wicked dangerous. Alright, opening the vault. 
Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi, native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of saltpeter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonator some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almus. My plane turned us down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safecracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back, and by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. I know the man. Slew an arch griffin for him. Mean fiend, pretty much. Hans or the beast? Both, actually. <sighs> so I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spite the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I say. Want to raise suspicions? Hmm. Now the formula for a potion that might do the trick. There. See? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You could also use your faces. All right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then, we'll bug a horse up, down and sideways, all together. Master Casimir, toss aside the torch, you guts! Ah! Piss off, then! Fuck off! You'll not tell me what to do! What? What's going on here? In deep play, Master Casimir sat upon his roof. Claims he'll blow himself to bits. What the wind's pearls, silks! Satins, and how the fuck she repaid me, made me a heat banger cuckold! I'll try to talk some sense into him. But if he should grow angered? The wench demanded a canopied bed and got it. Silver tableware, she said. Got that too. Lacking nothing, not a thing. What the fuck else was I to give her? Doubt he can grow any angrier. Hail, military. How oh, hallow, mother. Keep us from evil. What kind of knob you got? Lately come to poke my Euphemia, eh? Well, you're late. She's gone. No, I just... Postmaster said the same. Denied it all. Swore on the balls of his gods. And the Egypt I am, I believed the bugger. Three years they bumped about under my nose. Then ran off. My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. Know what? You're pathetic. What? What the fuck did you say? You heard me. Wanna die? Go jump off a bridge instead of scaring folks shitless. Looky here. Got us a clever one. Telling me how to off myself. Even willing to help you. No chance you'll do it on your own. You're not just a cuckold, you're a coward. Me? A coward? I'll no listen to this tripe. Don't you go nowhere, you bastard! I'll tie your bow back around your leg! Ah, she is! Come on! Ah, she is! Oh! Ah! Ah! You bruised my bones! Rice splintered them! Oh, 
Sorry. Would have preferred to talk it out. Thing is, you gave me no choice. Nay, do not apologize. I needed something of the sort. Some fella to knock the muck out of my heat. Oh. So, uh... What is it you wanted? Want you to open a door. Permanently. So it won't close again. I see. And what might you find on the other side of this door? A reward. Big one. To be split. Enough for everyone. If it come a week past, I'd have sent you the fuck away. But now... Now I've nothing to lose. What's it I'm to do? Out of the herbalist who lives near Oxenfurt. Go there and ask for yarrow extract. Learn all you need to know. Clear? As a Mahakaman Highland Stream. See ya! responsible for getting us out, as in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. You Eveline Gallo, the Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you, talk. What do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Eveline, I beg you. You don't know him. What's that supposed to mean? He introduced himself. Did you not hear? Geralt of Rivia. Stop pretending you don't understand me. You cannot know if he's to be trusted. Not a soul can be trusted. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. Let me guess. There's a monster needs killing. Somewhere, certainly. But not here. May I finish? Or would you rather keep guessing? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we've not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. Then I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Eveline, I'm not certain that's a good idea. Neither am I. It shall all come out in the wash. So, Witcher, what'll it be? Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. Hit it square on. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. What? But I... Shh! Geralt! Grab your crossbow and get to work! What's the hole? Shoot!
We end with an audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher. Not to take any interest in the Basodis. Why the hell not? Know what they say it about can only you bring trouble, if you seek only justice, trouble. hire a mm, witcher. Nothing interesting. Know what they say about you, lot? If you seek justice, what do you have to say? Fish chowder for supper the day. Not true. Who told you? No one. Scram before I lose my patience. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's the right treasure he is. No grabbing oh. about supplies. <clears throat> Just a gumption to enrich our gruel. Nah, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. Ah, Be the cook. Good day, fish biting. Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Here. Wait for the signal, and mum's the word, understood? And mighty must be amidst the unattached. I am. The only for a wee spell now. Is that so? Impossible. Only a fool would loosen their hold on a mate like you. Ah, at last. We're all here. Time to begin. Let's heist. It's no jest. 
So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. Or so does auction house. It's vault. That's our target. Everline, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes. Is that enough? It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, with that Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Casimir blows the vault door. We go in, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Hmm. All good and fine, except... What if something goes wrong? Seriously. You're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about Mars? He's got a rather recognizable mug myself. I'll tend to that. Ah. One last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail. And I'll kill you. With my own hands. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together. Now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Eveline, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. On your way. Plowing city foul shite all over again. What? Bugger all, you said there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start.
Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. For now, knock on wood. Good. That's in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things. Yes, but we shall raise the starting. Pr Watch this! Guards! Guards! Well, that's that. We're buggered. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. to flee! Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that! You can. Just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide? Kill a hostage. Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself. No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. See if I can't make this clear. We're not at a food market. No bargains to be made here. Lives are at stake. I understand. I do. But... No buts. Gonna count to three, then heads will roll. One... God have mercy! Just do what he asks! Y you leave me no choice! Two... Attack!
triggered that fight. Could have done without both. That explosion gets us in the vault. Where's Eveline? Just fled. All the better. Fewer hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. Fine whoop that was. A wee bit loud, aye, on account I had to add more fulminating silver than usual, but... Uh... I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. You don't know who you're fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah, you old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Stone me stupid and slap me happy. Right. Should have known. Same eyes, same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. Had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, Horst. But it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. Generous offer, Horst. Believe I'll take it. What? How dare you? Hate to be taken for a ride. Said that from the start. Should have treated it seriously. Even your accomplices have turned against you. But not I. A brother once, a brother always. I'm prepared to forgive you. Is that so? On one condition that you acknowledge me as head of the family and bow before me. I might have fallen prey had I not known, but I do you all. The bad shilling that always turns up.
Bathe and dress him for the funeral. Something presentable. I'll not have him bring me more shame. At last. How I despise unfinished business. What do you say we talk about my reward? As I said, take whatever you please. And as I said... Of course. The Witcher. I want Max Borsodi's house. Whatever it is. You fail to understand. Scrolls, documents, the will in there. None of this can land in strange hands. Not for any price. Any? You sure? Yes, Witcher. I'd sooner die than let you have those papers. Be happy to help you join your brother. Kill the Witcher! The mutants! Get back this right! That's enough of that. something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, right, lads, mind the barrels. We're going out for a jammer with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Brasoli's house, as requested. Livid. He's not. No. He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. But I didn't think you'd have a stomach for a massacre. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane, and then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. I none know how or why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The Borsodis aren't worth your tears. 
sons of bitches to a man. Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodes, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellaté. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Vilmeria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule are gnawing on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a sawmill. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled. Then had another tank. And then. Then. I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah. What happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Tell me, how'd you meet the Ophiri you turned into a beast? Aren't you a nosy one? What's it matter? You like to talk about yourself. That I cannot deny. Ophiri was a Delphi on a voyage through lands unknown to learn of their cultures and customs. He fell for her last. As it happened, this woman was already important to me. But at the time, I was now compared to a noble from a foreign land. So her parents promised her hand to the Afiri, though she loved me. If you'd only seen his feeble attempts at charm. When she asked why he travelled disguised as a common merchant, he said he was like the frog from the fairy tale. One kiss from her, and he turned into a prince. Wanted to be a frog. Became a frog. Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. This dallying. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shites about what I've got to say? I'm ready. 
I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, oh, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday, someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenford claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved? Yeah, I've loved. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. We'll drink once the job's done. Afraid that's impossible. Succeed and that's the end of me. Fail and you'll not be back. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last. I gave her a rose, a violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dauntless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Easy to find, which is already. I could use a cookie.